Michelle Abraham has everything you need to know, from local eats and celebrity interviews to trending topics and more. Right now on Good Day Stateline. Hi and welcome to Good Day Stateline. It's Wednesday, July 31st. I don't know how July is already over, but it is. We're holding on to summer as much as we can here on GDS, which is why we are giving you the GDS Summer Bingo Card. When you get bingo, email us at GDS at Fox39.com with photo proof. And not only will you be entered to win our bingo grand prize, you get a mini prize too. You can grab your copy of our bingo card on Instagram and Facebook. Global Games Week continues tonight with Game Day and Q98.5 and another live performance from Starlight Theater 2. But before we get to all of that, it's time for InstaChat. Brought to you by Beloit Health System, the only hospital in the area to be awarded an A quality and safety rating by LeapFrog. Every night we're breaking down the latest trending Hollywood stories here and inside our Instagram story. Kicking things off with news you probably already know, but we have to keep celebrating. The USA women's gymnastics team grabbing the gold in Paris. Watching these five ladies compete was incredible. Watching the celebration was even more fun. Now, what you might not have seen yet was the team name Simone Biles shared in a press conference after the win with former teammate Allie Raisman. She actually asked the question, I can't tell you this on TV. Not TV appropriate, but you can see what it is inside the GDS Instagram story. Also trending tonight, Steven Nedaroshik, who you might know better as the pommel horse guy. Steven led the USA men's Olympic gymnastics team to a bronze medal this week, which is a huge deal for our team. And turned him into one of the most popular athletes in this year's Olympics, not just because he's an amazing pommel horse athlete, but because he kind of looks like Superman and he sells Rubik's Cubes before he competes. His Clark Kent look has a lot to do with his glasses, which he needs to wear because of his strabismus. You can read more about this and how incredible it is that he's able to compete at this level with that inside the GDS Instagram story. And in non-Olympic news, we knew Nev Campbell was coming back to the Scream franchise for Scream 7. Now we know the entire movie will focus on her character, Sydney Prescott. You remember Nev opted out of Scream 6 because they didn't offer her enough money. Her money came in this time and she is ready to take the movie back to the beginning. We've always got more into chat for you inside our Instagram movie, including Ozzy Osbourne's half apology to Britney Spears after criticizing her Instagram dance videos. Follow us on Instagram for that and make sure you're getting the GDS newsletter. Scan the flow code on your screen or head to our website to sign up for that. We'll be right back to tell you what it means to go to a neighborhood hospital after a good day moments brought to you by Fresh Prince of Love's Park, the print shop with a heart.